Welcome back. I have another paper review for you and I think you are going to absolutely go wild over this paper. I am just, I am over the top with this paper. So first of all, let me show you what I got with it. Um, and then I'll flip through the paper pad. I think that will make it easier. Okay, so I got an 8x8 and this is called Stamperia Passion. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's just, it is just beyond, beyond, beyond beautiful. It is so beautiful. I think I am so attracted to the colors, but I also love anything ballet. I was a ballerina. So, um, I, in fact, I even have my um, toe shoes still to this day. So this paper line is just amazing so i did get the 8x8 and i did get the 6x12 um which is great to have when you're making your books um this is just these are great pieces to have and a lot of these pieces in here are really cool and in fact i will take these out after i show you the paper because um it's not what you're expecting. So let's just put it that way. Um, and then the chipboard is absolutely beautiful. It says passion, make your first step, inspiration, take your time, the music of heart, dreamer of dreams, happiness and love. Thank you. Create art, the story, embrace your journey, believe in yourself explore dream discover from the heart love explore be passionate heart and soul to dreamland with all my heart art dreams come true to dreamland i said that already um for a moment original beautiful in my dreams the little starts thank you draw near to me love story simply the best never give up for you now is the time. Dance. Chase your passion. La amor. Follow your heart. Believe. So these words, as you can guess, don't have to just go with this paper. This could go in any kind of a journal you are doing. And I especially think with a lot of these words that it would be a great for like a, if you were doing like a scripture journal or something that was to motivate somebody, something inspirational. I, I think these words lend themselves to a lot of different themes and a lot of different books um, that you can make. So these are the chipboard. Um, there's 86 pieces. So that's a lot of pieces. But here, ta-da, is the paper, the 12 by 12. It is just gorgeous. Um, I like how Stamperia opens like a book. Now, the first page, and I'm just going to move this like this so you can see it better. The first page is all little inspirational things. There's wreaths, be passionate, dance, chase your passion, make it happen, work hard, Work harder than you did yesterday. Passion is the genius of gen, uh, the genesis of genius. In order to, to succeed, we must first believe we can. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Love what you do. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. There's even a keyboard that says, let your passion be your guide. But look at the color. Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. Um, what I like about Stamperia, some people call it Stamperia. I say Stamperia. Um, the cover always has something on the inside so that you don't waste the cover. There's cutouts. So I think that is just incredible. It's beautiful. But look at this page look at this prima ballerina it says let your passion be your guide this is just unreal all choreography la dance there's dance and the um uh 
paper, uh, book paper. There's music notes. There's dance comp, um, comp compositions. Um, there's dance moves. It's all just so unbelievable. I mean, just look. I mean... I think this is probably one of the prettiest lines I have ever seen from this company. And I have a lot of their paper because I love their paper. But just look, look at this. Look at this. I love how they've taken this paper and, and ripped it up and put it with music notes and put borders. And look at these cards that you could use for journaling if you wanted to. It is just incredible. These toe shoes hanging are beautiful. It says dreaming, dance, art. Don't forget to dream of me. There's a little dance card here. It is absolutely stunning. It's just amazing. Just amazing. It, it, it's just beyond. Look at this back page, the wood page, but it looks like panels and lace on the top. And I've seen this lace in um, their old lace paper as well. It's beautiful. So I do like that they do kind of bring in some of the elements from older papers. Um, here is a beautiful violin. And again, it says beauties, violino. Um, there's music notes, roses, you name it, it's here. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, one page is prettier than the next. I love this, the suitcase with the violin and the art journal right next to it. Look at this wallpaper. I mean, it just does not get any shabbier and more beautiful. I mean, it's just it's just amazing. Look at this page. Look at the roses. They look like you can literally pick them up off the page. Look at how pretty. Just amazing. Amazing, amazing. I just love it. Love it. Look at the back of this one. I mean, that's just the back of the paper. It's gorgeous, but wait till you see these. Okay, get ready to flip. Look at these cards, the postcards or journaling cards, whatever you want to call them. Look at them. Look at the keys on the piano. I mean, ah, uh, they are just beyond stunning. Just beyond, beyond. I, I, I was flipping it too far back, so I pulled it apart, but that's okay. It'd be easier to show you. And on the back of those cards, which I love, is what you print, what you cut out, it has a back to it. So you can either use either side um, of them, or you can journal on the other side, put a picture on the other side, whatever it is you want to do, you can do. Look at this beautiful ballerina on top of the keyboard. Here is a beautiful window, a wreath, music notes. It's just unbelievable, this paper. Look at this, music notes on the back with the keyboard. It is just lovely, but look at all these tags, guys. And I'm probably going to, yeah. Look, just look at them all. I mean, like one is prettier than the next. It's like, how do you decide what to use? So you have to use them all. <laughs> That's, that really is the only way. With, the, with this paper line, and look at the back. It looks like a patchwork quilt. Oh, my goodness. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. I mean, I knew I was going to love this, but I did not think I was going to love this this much. It is um, just incredible. Look at the little dance outfit says dance but look at the little star look at the colors 
It says dream of me. I mean, oh my gosh, guys. You have to get this pad. I don't know how many more she has left. Now, this is neat because if you were to cut out this square, the back of the square has the wood grain. So if you just cut that out of the picture, you'd still have all these little pieces and all these little pieces have a backing to them. So that's cool. So if you wanted to cut out these little squares, they would all match front and back. I love that. Look at this roses page. I mean, they just jump off the page. Look at just, I, I just, you know, this is right up my alley. Anybody that knows me knows that this is me. Totally. <laughs> this is totally, totally me. Then look at all the script writing on the back of the page of the roses. And here's some little roses here. Incredible. And here we have more music. Look at that. And the roses. Oh, I cannot say enough about this collection. I, I really, I truly can't. Um, this is... This was in old lace too, but I think it was a little bit darker. But again, it brings in that element from another collection, which I love. Wait till you see these cut aparts. I mean, seriously, look at these cut aparts. I just, I, I mean, I'm just letting the paper talk. <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm in. If you're in awe, I am in just as much awe as you because usually I talk a lot when I'm when I'm talking about paper um but I just there's no talking needed I mean it is just perfection it is look at those ballet shoes and the violin the hanging ballet shoes the costume I mean it is just too much. This paper, it's like you don't even want to cut it. <laughs> I don't even want to cut it. But the 8x8 pad is exactly the same. But I do believe that this pad, these, these sheets are a little bit different. So I want to open them. And I should open, I apologize for the noise. I know a lot of people don't like that noise. I'm so sorry. But I think this is a little bit different. Um, it gives us more options. So I definitely want to show it to you because I think this would be perfect to add. Okay, so this opens up. And again, what they did with the cover is they gave us that patchwork, the cute patchwork design on the back so that you can use this for a background um, paper, or a tag, whatever you want to use it with. But look at the ballerinas oh my goodness look at them all different sizes wearing all different things i just love it oh and if you cut them out oh i love that hold on let me just make sure before i yes if you cut them out if you fussy cut them out they are the same on both sides that is so clever that is so clever. So if you were making like a little paper doll book or something with these girls, they're the same on both sides. So they did a reverse image of it on the back. How clever is that? I love that. I'm glad I opened this up because I really want you to get this. Look at the different costumes. Gorgeous. Super gorgeous. Look at, I love this one. They're just, they're all gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I opened this because this is different. I thought it was the same as the paper and it's not. It's like, and again, they're, they're the same. Reverse imaged on the other side. So once you cut them, they're the same on both sides. I love that. You know, this is something if you didn't want to use the whole paper line, but you wanted to make a little something for a granddaughter, um, you could cut out the ballerinas and cut out the outfits and make a cute little pocket kind of folio and make a little paper doll set of ballerinas. So 
that would be adorable look at these roses i just love uh, and then each ballerina could get her own set of shoes look at those guys look at all of them even the green toe shoes and i just love that it's on both sides oh my gosh look at these flowers look at this wreath it says dreaming oh my goodness this may told me i was going to love this she was not kidding look at all of these different door options <gasps> this gives me a great idea gives me a great idea i'm already thinking but i am going to do christmas before i do this set um just so you know we're going to work on christmas first but i wanted to show this because i'm going to use it and i don't want you to miss out i i really don't want you to miss out and i think that by the time christmas is done People are going to be looking for different projects to make. Look at the piano and all the musical instruments. I mean, you can make a whole paper doll set and your dolls could have violins and pretty dresses and toe shoes. I mean, it, I just think that would be such a cute idea for this set. Now, this is blank on the reverse side. Look at the windows. Oh, my word. They are gorgeous. Oh, wow. This pad is really essential, and the windows are double-sided. Love that. And then here's some cards, Heavenly Vision, the Bell of New York. Oh, and I love the way that's spelt, like my daughter, so you know I'm probably going to make something for her. I don't know, because I love ballet, so I might not for me. That side has um, the reverse image is music notes. Here are some more tags, tickets, opera house, all kinds of stuff. Oh, that is really cool. And that is just a blank on the back green, beautiful colors. And then here's that color, um, that same one that we talked about before. And that's the back of the pad. I'm glad I showed you this because I really thought it was just a repeat of these two pads, but long ways. And it's not. And I think to make a little, well, we might do it too. I'm not sure yet. But I'm thinking to make a little paper doll set would be adorable just adorable so we may have to do that uh, and have its own little box and uh, you know oh i could just see it it would be so cute so please if you if you can afford to get this get this i don't think you're going to be sorry with this i did get some flowers that go with this these are prima flowers and they're called My Sweet, and they are 652845. And as you can see, they're really, really pretty. There's a butterfly in there. So, and they're pinks and they're greens. And also that other set that I showed you, that green set, that would go really nicely with that. This as well. And this was the Prima My Sweet 652913. So these both would go really nice with this set super cute super sweet and um you don't want to miss out on this you don't want to miss out on this collection and you know i think for me personally i might even just buy an extra pad just because i love it <laughs> just because I don't want to be without it. It's it's the kind of paper that you definitely want to hoard, and I don't hoard my paper. I don't hoard any of my paper when I'm designing for somebody um, because I just think that's inappropriate. I think that if someone is sending you something to design with, you should use every scrap possible. So that's what I try to do, but I may need another pad just to have on hand. Um, but this is just gorgeous. 
I also wanted to show you seam binding that came in because we love our seam binding and May is selling it. Now I have it by the roll because I go through seam binding like crazy. This is number 6500. It's absolutely beautiful color. It's like a beige color. And then this one is an ivory. This is what they're calling ivory. And it's it's more, it's not as light as an ivory and it's not as dark as a taupe, as you can see the difference between the two of them there. Um, but this is coming off a little bit lighter than it really is. And of course, we have to have red for all our Christmas projects. And this is the baby pink, which I love. I love the baby pink so much. You can hardly see that it's baby pink. Maybe if I put, put it next to the red. It's hard to see in the sunlight right now, but it is baby pink. It's beautiful. I go through so much seam binding when I do my projects that, you know, I just like to have a lot of seam binding. And this baby pink and the um, beige and the off-white go perfectly with every collection um, that I've shown you. Maybe not so much the pink. The pink definitely goes with this one. But the red goes with the holiday um, collections. I also wanted to show you that May has these YooHoo sticks in. I think it's called YooHoo. I don't know how else you would. I mean, you could say Ooh-Hoo, but I think it's YooHoo. These are glue sticks, and they work fabulous. And they have a lot of people talk about these on the Internet. And um, these are not easy to find. May has these in the shop. Crafting on a budget store.com. So get these um, to glue your stuff down. I think it's a lot easier to use a glue stick than to be with that tape runner, which is so big. So I'm definitely going to try that out. So try to get that. And then the final thing I got to play with is a mold. This is a holiday. This is the Prima holiday mold. And I believe that May showed how to use this as well but i got that with the paper clay so we'll be making some elements for our christmas books using this prima mold i don't see it says item number nine nine seven eight six one it's by frank garcia prima mold it's actually food safe too huh that's interesting and then here is the paper clay that I'm going to be using. I, my hands shake, so I don't know if I would be able to do the resin. Um, so I use, I'm going to use the paper clay and just paint them when they're dry. But we'll do it together. So in case you've never done it before, we'll do it together. I also have these other pink flowers from 49 and Market that go great with this Stamperia collection. And these are FL Mini Series 01 Dash Blush 49 and Market. And they're just some pink flowers. And they go great with the Stamperia collection. And I forgot to show this. Look at these little charms. They're little metal wreath charms. And these are from. Who are these by? Hmm. Craft Consortium. These are from the UK and these are so cute. So these will be going in our Christmas books. So be on the lookout um, for this as well. And I also want to let you know that, as you know, I've been doing videos, but there are more videos to be seen. And the way to see those is to become a Patreon member, which is in the description box below. You can learn all about that. And I highly suggest that you join that. Um, it's like a, a monthly charge, I think. And there are more tutorials, and those tutorials are done by May. They are fabulous. They are intricate. They are mixed media. They are, they are just, there's so many different things she does absolutely beautiful projects but you will not see them here on the main channel you have to be a patreon member to 
to do that. So I encourage you, I highly encourage you to join the Patreon as well. It really helps to support her. It supports a small business. It's not a lot of money. And, you know, it, it's really worth it. If you love tutorials, it's so worth it. To, to be a part of that. So I just encourage you to go on to that as well. And between me and her, you're going to have so many, so many videos and ideas and different things. And we both, we both craft differently. I mean, you know, a lot of stuff we do the same, like when we were doing the laces, we did a lot of stuff that was very similar. Um, but with the paper and stuff, we, we have different spins on things. And a lot of my projects are, more basic um where she goes really big into the mixed media and the stencils and all that kind of stuff and if you want to learn how to do all that just sign up to be a patreon member um i suggest just sign up and try it out and then if you don't like it you can always quit but try it out because i really think that you will love it i really think you know, that right now we need really great tutorials for people to go to. And there's so many channels. I'm not saying there's not great tutorials out there. So please don't take that out of context. I'm just saying that we are trying to provide you with a lot of tutorials on two, you know, two different ways so that you have options and you get the best of both worlds between the two of us. And so, you know, I would just suggest um, joining the Patreon so that you can actually do some of those other projects that I won't be doing. I won't be doing mixed media. I won't be doing stencils. I won't be doing jelly press, jelly plate, whatever that is. I, that's, that's just not what I do. And any of you that know me know that, you know, I, I just, I don't do that. So... I would, you know, suggest that if you want to learn how to do that and you want to see it done, join the Patreon and you'll get all the videos on how to do that. So there you guys have it. This is the Stamperia Passion. I would make sure that you order this 6x12. The chipboards I love. You may have pink flowers in your stash if you if you don't have the, the money to get the the flowers um but definitely definitely get this this is really unique i love this um it's really different so we're, we're gonna have fun with that and the words of course we love the words and i you know i do like having the eight by eight because there's 10 sheets in the eight by eight and how many sheets are in this one mm. I don't know how many sheets are in this one. Ten. Ten and ten. So, you know, you have a bunch of paper to work with because you do run out quickly with Stamperia. That's the only part that, uh, you know, it, it's like you don't want to use one because you like the back of it. And, you know, so you kind of have to pick and choose. So having another size helps you to say, okay, I can cut that big one up because I have it smaller and I could use the whole thing smaller because we'll make it, we'll probably make a, an eight and a half by eight and a half album with this um, along with whatever else we decide we're going to make with this. But this again is going to be done after the Christmas projects, but I'm showing it to you because I don't want you to miss out on getting this because I think that it will be gone by the time Christmas has come and gone, and then you're not going to be able to find it. Or if you find it, you'll find it, and the, it'll be jacked up in price by people. And I hate when people do that, but they do it. Um, and so if this is something that you love, get this right away. <laughs> That's all I could say. Get it right away. And I'm sorry for the glare, but it's the afternoon here, and the sun is coming into my room. But I, I just wanted to finish my reviews of all of my papers so that I could now start to work with our first project. And you know the first project we are going to do is Time of Wonder by Minte. So if you haven't gotten that paper, 
go to craftingonabudgetstore.com to get it because you don't want to miss out on this project. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope that this has piqued your interest a little bit and made you want to get some of these papers for your own collection, whether you decide to do what I do or something else. They're just great quality, beautiful papers and you just can't go wrong. So with that said, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.